Well, perhaps things will start looking up for the Sri Lankans. That's a single into the gap to Hogg. He'll have a shot. It's a direct hit. Sangakara is stretching. We've seen the effect of direct hits time and time again. What's this one like for Hogg? Yes, I think it's gone to the third umpire. Very fine move by Hogg. We're all waiting in anticipation. The Sri Lankans looking for the quick single there. The Australians had all gone back to their positions. They didn't think it was out. They get the decision and they all have to regather around Hogg. All of a sudden, it's become a good piece of fielding again. Sangakara gone. Well, that's well played by Shamin Dewas. It was short, and um, when it's short on this pitch, you don't have too much of a chance. That is very close, yeah. It has beaten him. I think it's hit the pad first and then the bat. But it was a beautiful piece of bowling, a quicker wrong one, and it had the left-hander completely beaten. Good catch. Good catch. He had to make ground to it and then slightly overran it, I think. Had to steady himself and took it well. Brett Lee, the man who'd been warming up and has now warmed up properly. Oh, catch it. 50 for Aravinda de Silva. The total goes to 155 for seven and 39 overs. He's having a go and uh, an effort there to uh, catch that one, but uh, a miss hit for four. I think uh, Aravind de Silva is after a century here. He's going to bow out of Centurion in style. Catch. Right, he's in it straight back to him. That's it. He's got him now. Caught and bowled. Well. That's the end of Aravinda, trying to smash it back down the pitch, and Hogg has taken a good return catch. Oh, a big appeal there. Yes, he's got him. I think that probably hit him on the foot. Up goes uh, Glenn McGraw, and so he will be smiling now because uh, ultimately he's got the wicket he wanted. Sri Lanka were never in the hunt. They fell short by 96.